With the Barbie Photo Designer digital camera and CD-ROM, you can take pictures anywhere. Then play on your computer to instantly see pictures of you and your friends in the world of Barbie like never before. Let's have some picture-taking fun. Take as many shots as you want, because best of all, with this camera, you never run out of film. Know why? Because it doesn't need any. It's film-free. Take pictures anywhere, inside or outdoors. Your photos upload from the camera to your PC, so you can see them as you play with the Photo Designer CD-ROM. The special software lets you put your photos into my world and design all kinds of photo creations. Cool shot! Check out these wild new looks. Play with the shot by adding fun effects and make a whole new picture. You can keep all your favorite pictures in your scrapbook. Star in your own production in the digital flipbook. You're a star! Plus, whatever you design on screen, you can email or print out. Barbie Photo Designer Digital Camera and CD-ROM. Hours and hours of excellent photo fun. Now, smile for the camera. Hi, I'm Barbie. Welcome to the Barbie Photo Designer CD-ROM. You can explore all these fun things to do with your pictures. The world of Barbie. The scrapbook. Fun effects. And the digital flipbook. To get started, just click on any icon. To upload pictures you've taken, or to take new ones, click on the mini camera icon. To see the pictures you've already saved, click on the clipboard. Turn the camera on by pushing the on-off button to on. When the red light comes on, the camera is ready to use. Remember to turn your camera off when you're finished using it. When you turn the camera back on again, remember to upload your pictures before taking any more. To take a picture, look through the viewfinder. Try to center your subject in the frame. Press the shutter button. When you hear a shutter sound, you have taken a picture. To take pictures with a self-timer, press the self-timer button. You will hear a series of slow sounds, then a series of faster sounds. When you hear the shutter sound, a picture has been taken. When you take a picture, you will hear a clicking sound. That sound means you have captured an image in your camera. To hear the sound, click here. The camera will make a busy sound when it is automatically adjusting to changes in lighting. The busy sound indicates that the camera is not ready to take a photo. To hear the sound the camera makes, click here. If you want to clear the memory, hold down the shutter button for a few seconds and you will hear the memory clear sound. To hear the sound now, click here. You will hear the memory full sound when you take the sixth picture away from the computer. To hear the sound, click here. After two minutes of non-use, your camera will make a special sound to remind you to turn it off. After you have turned your camera back on, remember to upload any pictures you have taken before taking any more pictures. To hear the save battery sound, click here. The self-timer makes a series of sounds leading up to the picture being taken. To hear the sound, click here.
What would you like to do now? It's fun to take pictures. Photo tip. You'll get your best pictures if your subject is three to six feet away from the camera. Any photos you've taken with your camera will automatically be displayed here. Just plug in your camera and you'll see your pictures appear on this screen one at a time. Upload your pictures or take more photos. The Barbie digital camera uses one 9-volt alkaline battery. Make sure the camera is turned off. Unscrew the battery door on the back of the Barbie digital camera using a Phillips head screwdriver. Insert the 9-volt battery with the positive side on the battery aligned with the positive side inside the battery compartment. Replace the door and screw it shut. Turn your computer off. On the back of your computer, locate an available serial port. Determine if it is a 9-pin or 25-pin serial port. If your computer has a 9-pin serial port, insert the 9-pin plug of the camera cable into the serial port on your computer. Do not bend the connector pins when you insert the cable into the port. If the connector does not fit, pull it out and make sure you have it oriented correctly. Plug the other end of your connecting cable into your camera. If your computer has a 25-pin serial port, you will need to connect the cable to a 9 to 25-pin adapter and then connect it to the camera. Plug the other end of your connecting cable into your camera. Hook your camera up to your PC and turn your camera on. Click the Test Camera button on the screen. Something is not hooked up correctly. On this screen, you will see a list of the available serial ports. Try plugging your camera into a different serial port. If you don't have any available serial ports, you'll have to unplug one of the devices currently occupying one of the serial ports. Turn the camera on by pushing the on-off button to on. When the red light comes on, the camera is ready to use. Remember to turn your camera off when you're finished using it. When you turn the camera back on again, remember to upload your pictures before taking any more. To take a picture, look through the viewfinder. Try to center your subject in the frame. Press the shutter button. When you hear a shutter sound, you have taken a picture. To take pictures with a self-timer, press the self-timer button. You will hear a series of slow sounds, then a series of faster sounds. When you hear the shutter sound, a picture has been taken. The mini camera screen can be used to upload photos you have already taken or to take new pictures while the camera is connected to the computer. Before you can upload any photos, you need to hook your camera up to your PC. If your pictures do not automatically begin to appear on screen, you will need to click the mini camera icon in the lower left corner. In seconds, you'll see the photos you took displayed on screen. To take new pictures, just connect the camera to the computer and make sure it's turned on. Each photo will be displayed on the screen several seconds after you have taken it. You can continue to take shots until all 20 frames are filled.
If you close the screen or exit the program, all pictures in the mini camera screen must be saved to the clipboard. If they are not saved, they will be lost. To save all the pictures in the mini camera screen to the clipboard, click the Save to Clipboard icon. All of the pictures displayed on screen will be saved. To delete a picture, click on it and then click on the trash can. Delete as many pictures as you like and save the rest. Remember, any pictures not saved to the clipboard are deleted from the computer when the screen is closed. To exit the mini camera screen, click on the return arrow. The clipboard stores all the photos you have saved. To open the clipboard, click the clipboard icon on the lower right side of your screen. The clipboard will unfold vertically on the right side of the screen. Then use the small arrows at the bottom of the clipboard to scroll through all of your pictures. If you want to see more of your pictures at once, Click the big arrow pointing left at the top of the clipboard. The clipboard will open up to full screen size and display 35 photos at a time. If you want to go back to the small clipboard, click the arrow pointing right in the upper left corner of the screen. Your pictures are automatically named when you save them. You can rename them by selecting the name you want to change and then typing in a new name. Click the arrow pointing down to leave the clipboard. To edit a picture, click on it and then click on the scissors to go to the image editor. To print a picture, click on it and then click the printer. To delete a picture, click on it and then click the trash can. If you've to make a digital flipbook movie, you need to put a series of photos in the frames shown on the screen. The Barbie Photo Designer will automatically play back your selected photos in sequence, just like a flipbook. You can put photos in the flipbook maker in one of two ways. By selecting shots from the clipboard and pasting them in one at a time. Or by taking a series of shots while your camera is connected to the computer. These shots will automatically be placed on the screen. To paste photos in the flipbook maker, first open the clipboard by clicking the clipboard icon in the lower right corner of your screen. Use the small arrows at the bottom of the clipboard to scroll through your pictures. Click the picture you would like to use in the digital flipbook and then click the frame in which you would like that picture to appear. Repeat this step as many times as you like or until all the frames are full. To add more pictures, click the next page arrow and a second screen of 18 frames will appear. These will follow the first 18 frames in your movie. You can put a total of 36 frames in any one flipbook movie. To delete a single picture, click the picture, then click the trash can. To delete all the pictures, click the trash can. To to create a flipbook in real time, first make sure your camera is hooked up to your computer and turned on. 
Click the stopwatch icon. A picture will automatically be taken every four to five seconds. A song will play, telling you when the camera is taking each shot. To stop taking pictures, click the stopwatch again. Save your flipbook to the clipboard by clicking the Save button. Print all of the pages of your flipbook by clicking the printer icon. On the first screen of the flipbook maker, open the clipboard. Select the saved movie you want to play. Then click the flipbook maker screen. Your flipbook movie pictures will be displayed on the screen. To see the movie play, click the little theater icon. To watch your flipbook, click the stage icon. You will go to a screen which will display your flipbook movie. To start playing your flipbook, click the single green arrow. To play your movie at a faster speed, click the double green arrow. To play it even faster, click the triple green arrow. To stop playing your flipbook, click the blue square. You can start and stop the show as many times as you like. To select music to go along with your show, click the musical notes. Several music selections will be displayed. Click the one you want to hear. Open the clipboard by clicking the clipboard icon in the lower right corner of your screen. Use the small arrows at the bottom of the clipboard to scroll through your pictures. Click the picture you would like to use in the scrapbook, and then click the place on the page where you would like that picture to appear. Scroll through the frame choices at the top of the screen. Click the frame you want. Then click the spot on the scrapbook page where you would like to see the frame placed. The frame will appear in that location. Scroll through the sticker choices at the top of the screen. Click the sticker you want, then click the spot on the scrapbook page where you would like to see that sticker placed. The sticker will appear in that location. To hide a picture from view, select a picture, then click the lock icon. The selected picture will be hidden by a top secret cover. You can place another picture on top for total secrecy. Just click the picture you want to put on top and then click the locked picture. To unlock a picture, click it, then click the key. Enter your special Barbie password and the locked picture will be revealed. If you want to cover your locked picture with another picture, first you'll have to decide which picture you want to use as a cover. Select that picture and drag it onto the page. Using the plus and minus icons on the screen, resize your picture until it is bigger than the lock. When it is bigger than the lock, move the picture on top of the lock, making sure that the lock is totally covered. If you want to unlock the first picture, drag the covering picture off the lock. Select the locked picture and click the key. You'll be prompted to enter your password. When you have done so, your picture will be unlocked and ready for show. To make your picture bigger, first select a picture, then click the plus sign. Each click makes your picture slightly bigger. To make your selected picture smaller, click the minus sign. Each click makes your picture slightly smaller. To add text, click the ABC icon. Using your keyboard, type in text in the space indicated.
Move your picture, sticker, or frame around the scrapbook page by clicking on the object to be moved and drag it to its new location. Print the current page of your scrapbook by clicking the printer icon. Save your scrapbook page to the clipboard by clicking the Save button. To delete any of the items on the scrapbook page, click the item, then click the trash can. To select a category, click one of the islands on the globe in the center of the screen. To select an image from the world of Barbie, click one of the five shown. If you change your mind, click the small globe to return to the main screen of the world of Barbie. To add a photo to a world of Barbie scene, open the clipboard by clicking the clipboard icon in the lower right corner of your screen. Use the small arrows at the bottom of the clipboard to scroll through your pictures. Click the picture you would like to use in the world of Barbie image and then click on the spot where you would like your picture to appear. Move your picture around the world of Barbie image by clicking on your picture and dragging it to its new location. To make your picture bigger, first select a picture, then click the plus sign. Each click makes your picture slightly bigger. To make your selected picture smaller, click the minus sign. Each click makes your picture slightly smaller. Move your picture around the world of Barbie image by clicking on your picture and dragging it to its new location. Your picture can either be in front, middle, or back of the scene. The first time you click on a picture and move it into a world of Barbie image, your picture will be in the back of the scene. You can click again to drop your picture anywhere you want. If your picture is in back of a scene, you can click on it and move it to the front of the scene and drop it wherever you like. Using the arrows in the accessory scroll bar, scroll through the choices. Click on an accessory to select it. Click the spot in the world of Barbie image where you would like that accessory to be placed. Move your accessory around the world of Barbie image by clicking on it and dragging it to its new location. Your accessory can either be in the front or back of the scene. The first time you click on an accessory and move it into a world of Barbie image, it will be in the back of the scene. You can click again to drop your accessory anywhere you want it. If your accessory is in the back of a scene, you can click on it and move it to the front of the scene and drop it wherever you like. Save new pictures to the clipboard by clicking the Save button. Print the current picture by clicking the printer icon. To delete your picture, click the item, then click the trash can. To add fun effects to a photo, select a picture from the clipboard. Open the clipboard by clicking the clipboard icon in the lower right corner of your screen. Use the small arrows at the bottom of the clipboard to scroll through your pictures. Click the picture you would like to use and then click on the mirror. Your picture will appear in the mirror. Add a cool effect to your picture by clicking on the effect you want. It will automatically appear on your picture. Remove an effect from your picture by clicking the mini picture on the bottom of the screen. Save new pictures to the clipboard by clicking the Save button. Print the current picture by clicking the printer icon. To delete your picture, click the item, then click the trash can. Click the picture you want to edit, and then click the scissors to call up the image editor. To exit the image editor, 
Click the back arrow. To draw thought a specific co color, click on the silhouette button with the multicolor background. Then click on the specific color on your photo that you want to delete. Everything with the selected color will be deleted from the photo. To restore the color, click on the miniature picture. If you want to erase the entire background of your picture, click the icon showing the dark silhouette. To crop the picture, click the scissors and drag them around the area you wish to keep. The outside area will disappear. If you want to erase part of your picture, click the eraser and drag it over the part you don't want to keep. You can rotate your image by clicking on the circular arrow. Keep clicking the arrow until your picture is at the angle you want. Click the magnifying glass and then click a picture. You will see a close-up of your picture. Click the magnifying glass again to bring it back to its normal size. If you want to bring back anything you have erased, click the paintbrush and drag it over the part you want restored. To undo all of your changes and return your picture to normal, click the miniature picture. Save new pictures to the clipboard by clicking the Save button. Print the current picture by clicking the printer icon. You can print out postcards, stickers, or plain paper pictures. You can also print out your flipbook and your entire clipboard. Begin by clicking the icon of what you would like to print. Here's where you can print your entire clipboard. The printout of your clipboard will look just like the clipboard you see on your screen. That way, you'll have a record of all the pictures you have saved in your clipboard. Make sure your printer is on and that it's loaded with paper. When you're ready, just click the print icon to print out your clipboard. To print your selected image on stickers, first make sure your printer is on and that your stickers are correctly loaded. From the four sticker choices on screen, you select the one you'd like to use. You can preview what your picture will look like on a sticker. If you like what you see, just click the print button. If you don't like the way your picture fits on the sticker, Click the return arrow to go back one screen, and then click the scissors to go to the image editor. When you return to the print screen, you can preview the way your edited image looks before you print it. If you want to make changes to your picture before you print your postcard, click the return arrow to go back one screen, and then click the scissors to go to the image editor. When you return to the print screen, you can preview the way your edited image looks before you print it. You can add text to your postcards. Just click on the ABC icon and use your keyboard to type in the spaces on the postcard. When you want to print, click the Print button. You'll print two postcards per page. You can print out your digital flipbook and create a paper flipbook. First, make sure your printer is on and that it's loaded with paper. All of the frames of your flipbook will print out on one or two sheets of paper. You'll just need to cut them out and staple them in order to make your own flipbook. You must have a flipbook selected before you choose to print it. If you don't have a flipbook selected before you choose to print one, the program will prompt you to select or make a flipbook. First, make sure your printer is on and that it's loaded with paper. Now you have two choices. You can either print the image as it is now by clicking the printer icon, or you can click the return arrow to go back one screen.
and then click the scissors to go to the image editor. You can change the amount of hard disk space you have reserved for your pictures. Use the arrows to scroll through the different amounts of space. When the amount of space you want is showing in the box, just stop scrolling. Welcome to the world of Barbie. Here are some party photos. Click on any picture and it will pop to full size on the screen. To go back to the world of Barbie screen, click on the blue globe. Now you have two choices. You can either print the image as it is now by clicking the printer icon, or you can click the return arrow to go back one screen, and then click the scissors to go to the image editor. Edit your image. Make your image smaller. Make your image bigger. Delete this image. Return to the world of Barbie. Print this image. Save this photo. Choose a photo. Here are some outdoor fun photos. Click on any picture and it will pop to full size on the screen. To go back to the world of Barbie screen, click the blue globe.
outdoor fun. Parties. Careers. Here are some career photos. Click on any picture and it will pop to full size on the screen. To go back to the world of Barbie screen, click on the blue globe. At home. Here are some at home photos. Click on any picture and it will pop to full size on the screen. To go back to the world of Barbie screen, click the blue globe. Sports. Here are some sports photos. Click on any picture and it will pop to full size on the screen. To go back to the world of Barbie screen, click the blue globe. Let's add more photos to your scrapbook.
Any photos you've taken with your camera will automatically be displayed here. Just plug in your camera and you'll see your pictures appear on this screen one at a time. If you like, you can take more pictures while the camera is connected to the computer. You can take up to 20 shots at a time, enough to fill this screen. When you filled up all the spaces, be sure to save your pictures to the clipboard, otherwise they'll be erased. All of the pictures will be saved at once. If there are any you don't want to keep, delete them first before you click the Save button. Once you saved your photos, you can start all over and take 20 more. Scrapbook Fun Effects Select a photo from the clipboard and then click the mirror to display it. To add an effect to your picture, click the mini mirror containing the effect. To remove an effect, Click the mini picture on the bottom of the screen. Digital Flipbook To make a digital flipbook, select photos from the clipboard and place them in the frames on this screen. Fill as many frames as you want. The frames will play back in sequence. When you're ready to see your movie, click the little theater icon. Another way to make a digital flipbook is to connect your camera to the computer. Then click the little clock icon. The camera will take one picture every two to four seconds. While it's taking pictures, a cool song will play that tells you every time the camera takes a shot. You and your friends can dance or make faces or put on a show in front of the camera. It'll record what you're doing and you can play it back as a digital flipbook. Cool! You have saved your digital flipbook. Upload your pictures or take more photos. If you've taken photos with your camera, you Photo tips It's fun to take pictures. You'll get your best pictures if your subject is 3 to 6 feet away from the camera. You can take your camera anywhere. Keep a solid colored background behind your subject. Wow, you're a real photographer! When using the self-timer feature, place your camera on a flat surface that's the same height as the person being photographed.